Hello friends. In this video we will discuss the water supply engineering subject. Multiple choice question answer. Let's start. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Which source of water, among the following is not a surface source? Well water is not a surface water. River water, lake water, and ocean water are surface water. Which source of water, among the following is not a subsurface source? Storage reservoir is not a subsurface source of water. A shallow well is one tapping an aquifer, nearest to ground level. A shallow well is one tapping an aquifer, nearest to ground level. Sedimentation may not be required for water from a deep well. Sedimentation may not be required for water from a deep well. The construction of impounding reservoir is required when the rate of flow in the stream in dry season is less than demand. The construction of impounding reservoir is required when the rate of flow in the stream in dry season is less than demand. Which of the following statement is wrong? None of the above statement is wrong. A good source of water requiring practically the least treatment is a deep well. A good source of water requiring practically the least treatment is a deep well. Infiltration capacity of soil depends upon number of voids present in the soil. Shape and size of soil particles, arrangement of soil particles. The main factor which affects the infiltration capacity, is thickness of saturated layer, depth of surface detention, soil moisture, all the above. The main factor which affects the infiltration capacity, is thickness of saturated layer, 
depth of surface detention, soil moisture, all the above. Absolute humidity in air decrease at higher altitude. Absolute humidity in air decrease at higher altitude. Absolute humidity in air decrease at higher altitude. Precipitation caused by lifting of an air mass due to the pressure difference, is called cyclonic precipitation. Precipitation caused by lifting of an air mass due to the pressure difference, is called cyclonic precipitation. The surface runoff is the quantity of water that reaches the stream channels. The surface runoff is the quantity of water that reaches the stream channels. The surface runoff is the quantity of water that reaches the stream channels. Rain simulators are used for the determination of infiltration capacity. Rain simulators are used for the determination of infiltration capacity. Pressure exerted by fully saturated air, is known saturation vapor pressure. Pressure exerted by fully saturated air, is known saturation vapor pressure. Pressure exerted by fully saturated air, is known saturation vapor pressure. Precipitation caused due to upward movement of warmer air as compared to surrounding air, is called convective precipitation. Precipitation caused due to upward movement of warmer air as compared to surrounding air, is called convective precipitation. Precipitation caused due to striking of air masses with a topographical feature, is called orographic precipitation. Precipitation caused due to striking of air masses with a topographical feature, is called orographic precipitation. Humidity refers to moisture content of the air. Humidity refers to moisture content of the air. Humidity refers to moisture content of the air. The surface runoff is due to rain in the net supply interval. The surface runoff is due to rain in the net supply interval. The surface runoff is due to rain in the net supply interval.
In India the recording type brain gauge generally used, is float recording type. In India the recording type brain gauge generally used, is float recording type. In India the recording type brain gauge generally used, is float recording type. A soil strata may consist of soil zone, capillary zone, groundwater zone, all the above. A soil strata may consist of soil zone, capillary zone, groundwater zone, all the above. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics